I am Mike and I am the lead fabricator here at ECD. I work on the trucks throughout all the stages. Everybody from tear down, paint, uh, cosmetics, I've obviously got myself, drivetrain, and occasionally upholstery. Custom fitment wise, you have everything from exhaust to all the motor mounts on the frames that we do, cross members, and then you've got your little things like the bulkhead swaps that we have to do, and just some miscellaneous brackets, and for the most part, that's pretty much it. The most labor intensive part would probably be the exhaust. Every motor and transmission stays in the same place. That doesn't mean every time it's going to be in a sense perfect. Custom exhaust wise you have the California exhaust which are probably the most time consuming. How you have to cut the cats out to be able to reuse them. You have certain specs for like uh, your O2 sensors within a certain distance they have to be in and really placement of everything because you're working with a vehicle that they were never meant to be placed in, so your space limited. Um, then you've got the dual exhaust, you've got your standard single exhaust, and then there's different variances within the exhaust. You could do cutouts, which we mainly offer on the dual exhaust setup. You've got different style exhaust tips. Then you've got the con exhaust for the 90s. The bulkhead, we really, there's a lot that gets cut out. We basically switched the whole thing from being right-hand drive to left-hand drive. So everything that's on the right side has to now be on the left side. Everything that's on the left side has to be on the right side. Um, the seat brackets, so a lot of the times we'll use Corbo seats, um, which Corbo has their own technically defender brackets, but they don't work at all. Um, so basically what we do is, is I completely redesign them and then build them from that and then you've got the rear seat brackets for like the uh, the two plus two setups it's something we design um, and that is that's a little bit more labor intensive as you've got to build the frames for the seats it's a good bit of work but at the same time after you've done a couple sets it's it's not too bad my favorite thing to build for them would honestly probably be the rear seat brackets knowing that it was something I came up with with how to build and something I really have a good bit of time invested into and to know they come out great every time is it's pretty nice.